I just want to thank everybody. Uh, it's like uh, 14 hours and 15 minutes. The store's open in Akihabara, and that's about it. So I need to conserve tape and uh, battery life. But I think I'm all packed. I've got all my equipment together, and uh, I'm going to get my game cube. Nine minutes, we're under ten minutes. Nine minutes. Uh, uh, one memory card, one memory card. One memory card. Wave race is going first. <laughs> Nintendo World Report LLC's beginning was 20 years ago, on March 7, 1999. This was the day Billy Berghammer decided to use his free web space on NConnect internet services and whip up something with Microsoft Front Page 98. Back in the early days of the Nintendo 64, Billy had worked on N64HQ, one of the earliest and most legendary N64 sites on the internet. That site closed, and Billy had plenty of free time on his hands because he had been let go from his job a month prior. Unemployment can sometimes be a beautiful thing, thus N2000HQ was born. The plan was for N2000HQ to be a news site that would be updated easily and cover absolutely everything that had to do with Nintendo's Dolphin, the GameCube, and Atlantis, the Game Boy Advance projects. However, Billy soon discovered that the N2000HQ.com domain was already taken, so he had to come up with a new name and get a new domain to match it. The main goal was to be the first next-generation Nintendo news site on the internet, to cover these systems from beginning to end, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, worldwide. With that in mind, Planet N2000 was created in spring of 1999. A month or so later, Operation N2000 closed up shop. This was by far the best dolphin site on the internet, which had been started by Justin Nation about the same time as Planet N2000 began. Billy had also worked there, and he asked Justin if he could move the Operation N2000 content over to Planet N2000. Justin obliged and became a staff member, as did a few other people from the closing site. Yet most of the staff was rather skeptical that Planet N2000 would go anywhere. In the following months, the site built up a solid readership, when other major Dolphin fan sites like Dolphin Cove and Nintendo Nation shut down, traffic increased even more. After attending their first E3 in 2000, and later that year Space World in Japan to witness firsthand the unveiling of the Nintendo GameCube and Game Boy Advance, hits and bandwidth consumption went through the roof. At that time, the free web server host decided it was time they found a new home. On March 7, 2001, their two-year anniversary, they closed up shop at Planet N2000. In anticipation of Nintendo's new home console, they rechristened the site Planet GameCube. During the early years of the GameCube and Game Boy Advance era, Planet GameCube grew to become the largest independent news and information website on the internet, with over 20 staff members on four continents. As other multi-platform sites began charging for premium editorial content and forum access, they bucked the trend and insisted on providing all content free of charge, while funding the site through advertising and merchandise sales, and even out of their own pockets. In April 2003, not long after the site's fourth birthday, Billy Berghammer accepted a job with Game Informer magazine, and had to say goodbye to Planet GameCube. He handed the site over to Jonathan Metz, who had joined the staff in the summer of 2000 after meeting Billy at the E3 Expo. Johnny got his start in the industry by creating his own Nintendo site, the Enformant, in early 1999. After joining the staff of Planet N2000, he quickly rose through the ranks, going from staff writer, to previews editor, to senior editor and managing editor, before eventually being awarded the director's chair. When Nintendo first hinted at their next console at E3 2004, later to be codenamed Revolution, the staff had come to realize that they couldn't call themselves Planet GameCube forever. One thing was for sure, they knew they wanted a name that was not tied to any specific platform and they quietly applauded this decision when Nintendo revealed the Wii name to a dumbfounded Nintendo community a week before E3 2006. By then, the staff was toiling over name candidates, and with the release of the console looming, 
they settled on a new name. In November of 2006, Planet GameCube became Nintendo World Report, just in time for the release of the Nintendo Wii. And they recommitted themselves to bringing readers everything there is to know about Nintendo games. In the months leading up to the Nintendo World Report launch, Jonathan Metz decided to cut back on his workload in order to continue his college studies. About the same time as the launch, he passed the torch to Steven Rodriguez, who had been part of the NWR staff since 2002. Steven had been part of the Nintendo website scene since 1999, when he made a name for himself by updating the Nintendo Nation mailbag every day for an entire year. He brought this tradition with him to Planet GameCube and Nintendo World Report, where he answered reader questions in the NWR mailbag every week until taking over as director. In addition to his postal duties, Steven was the news editor of the site before becoming director. After more than three years at the helm, Steven stepped down to devote more time to his personal life in January 2009. This allowed longtime staffer and former reviews editor John Lindemann to assume the role of director. Like Steven before him, John was also a veteran of the Nintendo enthusiast website scene, starting out as a release dates editor for the 64 Source in 1998. He later moved to write for Nintendo Box and Nintendo Joe before finally landing at Planet GameCube in 2004. Following several years as staff writer, he took over for Jonathan Metz as reviews editor in 2008, as Metz continued his transition away from day-to-day -day site duties. During this time, Nintendo World Report hosted their first charity livestream in 2010, a tradition that continues to this day, with a stream earlier this year raising over $5,000. In fact, over the past nine years, Nintendo World Report has raised over $47,000 in support of charity, thanks entirely to generous fans. In early 2011, John had to step back from his role as director, and former senior editor Neil Ronahan assumed the helm. After three years of extreme dedication to the site, Neil chased down Jonathan Metz's site record for longest standing site director and cleared it by quite a bit. Under Neil's watch, the NWR staff handled the launch of the 3DS and also put together a very important GameCube 10th anniversary feature because, after all, this site would have never existed if it weren't for the purple lunchbox. Neil also ushered the site through the rough patch that was the Wii U. It was during this time that the site had to get creative in order to survive a waning interest in Nintendo. In 2014, Neil, along with video producer Jared Rosenberg, launched a new YouTube channel called NWR TV. NWR TV served as a new discovery outlet and revenue stream for Nintendo World Report, which to this day is still operated entirely by volunteers. But in the age of ad blockers, NWR put the site's finances directly into the hands of readers by launching an official Patreon in April of 2016. Alongside the Patreon, NWR also launched a Discord server, which at the time of writing this has grown to over 700 active members, with NWR TV very quickly approaching the 50,000 subscriber mark. In February of 2018, with a child on the way, Neil stepped back into a reviews editor role and passed the role of director to John Rairdon. John started in games journalism by founding a Nintendo eShop-focused site called 8 Worlds News in 2012. Prior to that, John studied film, working on a variety of award-winning independent projects before he shifted his focus to game journalism. Shortly before the launch of the NWR TV channel, John was brought on board to help produce video content for the site. While he can't hope to compete with some previous director's review numbers, John does hold the record for most Star Fox-related content produced by a single individual. The GameCube and Game Boy Advance coverage that carried the site for more than seven years lives on alongside many other generations that have come since. NintendoWorldReport.com contains the archived content from Operation N2000, Planet N2000, and Planet GameCube, giving readers the opportunity to relive the moments of our past as well as the news of the future. At Nintendo World Report, we're very proud of our long history of dedicated coverage of all things Nintendo. Because of your unending support, we've been able to do this for 20 years. Here's to 20 more. My name is Joe DeVader. I joined NWR in January of this year. And hey, thank you for keeping with us for 20 years. You're cool. Hey, I'm Matt Zawadniak. I joined Nintendo World Report in September of 2018. And thank you so much for supporting the site for all these years, for 20 years. Hi, I'm Matthew Olivo. Thank you for supporting Nintendo World Report for over 20 years, and here's to 20 more to come. I am Mitchell Parton. I've been with NWR for a year now. Thank you for supporting us for 20 years. Hi guys, Jordan Rudick here. Uh, I joined Nintendo World Report in March of last year as a freelancer. Uh, just a few months after that, uh, I joined the staff. I think it was in August of uh, last year. 
Um, just want to thank all of the people that uh, follow us and support the site. Um, if we hadn't been getting support for 20 years, a Nintendo World Report might not be here and I might not be writing reviews for them. So uh, you're helping this guy uh, live a childhood dream or make a childhood dream come true. So thanks for all the support. Uh, look forward to more great content with us and uh, talk to you soon. Thanks. What's up, guys? Casey here. I joined Nintendo World Report just before the Switch launch, so just over two years ago. And um, I just want to thank everyone who checks out everything we do here, whether it be videos, written reviews, features. Uh, you guys are the best, and uh, you are what keeps this site going. So thank you very much. Hey, this is Perry Burkham. I joined the site uh, at Nintendo World Report two years ago. Uh, March 2017. It's been a crazy ride. Sometimes it feels like I'm just spinning in circles, but I'd like to thank everyone for being supporting of us, and thank you so much. Hello, my name is David Lloyd, and I joined with NWR right after the release of the Switch. I just want to thank everyone for their support over this past 20 years. Hey everyone, this is Xander Morningstar. I've been with NWR since August of 2017. Thank you for 20 years of support. NWR couldn't be where it's at now without you. Your support means the world to me, the staff, and the rest of the community. I can't believe I'm only two years older than the site. Thanks again. Hey everybody, my name is David Curvis, and uh, I've been with Nintendo World Report since 2017, and just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting us for the past 20 years. I'm your friendly neighborhood news editor, Donald Terriel, and I've been at NWR since 2015. Big thank you for, for supporting us for 20 years, and here's hoping for 20 more. My name is Adam Obunasser, and I joined NWR in June 2015. Thanks for keeping us around. Hey everybody, this is Brian Rose, and, and I've been writing for the website since 2014. So it's been about five years. It's been a great five years. I, I've learned so much through being a part uh, of Nintendo World Report. So I've been a part of the fan base of, of uh, NWR since the very beginning, probably around 2000. So I just want to take the time to say happy birthday and here's to another 20 years. Hey everybody, I'm John Reardon. I started following the site in about 2006, around when the Wii came out. I uh, joined the staff in 2014 and have been the director since uh, February of 2018. Thank you all very much for supporting the site so long. Uh, as both a uh, part of the site and a fan of the site, uh, it means a lot to me for, for many reasons. Uh, and we would not still be here doing this if it weren't for you. So keep up the good work, and uh, thanks. Hello, this is Guillaume Bayet, editor of Radio for Nintendo since 2012. Thank you all for supporting NintendoWorldReport.com for the last 20 years. Justin Ruby, features editor of Nintendo World Report here. I joined during the NWR era, and I'd just like to thank all the readers for supporting the site for 20 years. Happy 20th anniversary, NWR. Hello, my name is James Dawson. I joined Nintendo World Report back in 2011 as a staff writer right out of high school. I'd just like to thank everyone for their continued support over the last 20 years. Hello everyone, my name is Dan Koopman. I joined the site back in 2011 and it's still a joy. Mostly because the people that are there, we have a fantastic group of people, but also because the people that are come and go, they always are lovely people who just like to talk about Nintendo games. And talking about them uh, made me realize how important they are to my life. They're very integral. And they are also integral to the people that come to this website. And that's why it's important to say thank you. Thank you for keep reading. And I would just want to say to everybody who's on staff, you're the best. You're number one. Wahoo. Bye-bye, everyone. Hi, I'm JP Corbin. I've been on staff at uh, NWR since 2011. Thanks, everyone, for supporting us for 20 years. Hi everyone, it's Andy Gergen, former host of NWR Newscast, contributor to NWR Connectivity, and uh, managing editor until recently. I joined Nintendo World Report in 2009, and uh, I just really wanted to say thanks to everyone for supporting NWR and Planet GameCube for as long as you have. Me personally, I've been following the site since 2001. Uh, it was my primary point of information in the ramp up to the GameCube, so I've been around uh, on the periphery of the community and on the staff for a really long time, and uh, I really appreciate everyone's support all these years, and I can't wait to see it keep going, keep growing. I've been a part of Nintendo World Report since 2008. That's more than a third of my life, and more than half of the site's life. 
I thank it for making lifelong friends, for making amazing memories, for being able to go to E3s and spend time with people that... I remember reading their stuff when I was like 14. It's crazy. And most of all, I thank Billy for starting this site in 1999 and making sure it lasted long enough for me to be able to join it. And then, thankfully, I was able to help along with, alongside with, with multiple Johns to make it last to 20 years and hopefully beyond. And I hope everybody enjoys what we do, because that's why we're doing it. So thank you, and thank everyone who's ever been a part of the website, because it means the world. Uh, and and I, I love you all. Hey, it's me, Jared, in Japan, uh, just saying hi. Uh, been with Nintendo World Report since 2008. Uh, congratulations, Nintendo World Report, and uh, thank you, readers, for sticking with us for 20 years. It's awesome. Bye. I'm Carmine Red, and I joined Nintendo World Report in 2007. But I was ranting and raving on the Planet GameCube forum since way before then. Nintendo World Report is more than just an independent Nintendo fan site. It has a meaning. And at the core of that meaning is you. So thank you for ranting and raving right alongside us all these many years. Hello and welcome to Not Radio Free Nintendo. I'm your host, James Jones, host of Radio Free Nintendo. But it's not about me right now. I mean, it's always about me, but it's not about me right now. It is about Nintendo World Report. 20 years, which in website time is John Lindemann old. Basically, I'm a train wreck. So thanks, Nintendo World Report, for keeping me around. Happy birthday. Hello, this is Zachary Miller from Anchorage, Alaska. I um, uh, can't believe it's been 20 years uh, with NWR. I've been with the site since 2006, 2007. It's been quite a ride. Met so many good people, lifelong friends. It's been a wonderful, wonderful ride. And we could not do it without you listeners. Listeners, readers, viewers now. Thank you so much for supporting us for 20 years. And uh, let's have 20 more. Hey everyone, it's Daniel Bloodworth, and I just want to wish uh, Nintendo World Report a happy 20th anniversary. Uh, I was there uh, from 2002 until around 2007, uh, before eventually moving on to G4 in-game trailers and now Easy Allies. And uh, it's it's kind of crazy <laughs> when we start adding these numbers up. Uh, it's really it's been a fun time, and I definitely have a lot of fun memories with the site. I'm still supporting you, and thank everyone else uh, for your support over the years, and really looking forward to the future of everything to come. Thanks. Hi everybody, this is Steven Windyman Rodriguez. I joined Planet GameCube in 2002, and I led the launch of Nintendo World Report in 2006 as site director. You know, a lot's changed with Nintendo and video game coverage over the last 20 years. But I just want to say thank you to everyone, then and now, who has been with us every step of the way. And here's to another 20 years of Nintendo World Report. See you, everybody. Hi, this is Michael Cole, a.k.a. The Younger Plumber. I joined Planet N2000 in January of 2001. And uh, I just want to say thank you for all the support over the years, whether it's reading our website, listening to our podcast, participating in Planet Chat, buying our E3 2002 DVD, uh, supporting us on Patreon, whatever it is, submitting a request for Radio Trivia. Um, thank you so much for all your support over the years, and uh, it's amazing we got 20 years, and here's for another 20 more at NintendoWorldReport.com. Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Metz, former director of Planet GameCube and former host of Radio Free Nintendo. Uh, I joined our website, Nintendo World Report, back in the year 2000, and uh, I'm still involved a little bit, and I just want to thank everyone for all your support and for making it uh, an incredible experience for all these years, and uh, I hope it goes on for uh, a long time to come. Thanks a lot, everybody. Hey folks, this is Justin Nation, currently of Mindy Spotlight. I joined before Planet GameCube became a thing. Um, I helped design the original site with uh, Billy, I built the back end. So almost since the beginning, um, thanks for following NWR for all these years, and Congratulations to everybody involved in the 20th anniversary. My name is Billy Berghammer, and I joined the N2000 HQ on March 7th, 1999. It just feels weird saying the name of that website because it didn't last very long. Um, but that being said, uh, congratulations to the entire staff of uh, every iteration of uh, what's now become Nintendo World Report. Um, 
20 years is an amazing accomplishment and uh, you should all feel proud. Um, uh, also, just thanks to everybody that's ever supported, uh, you know, Planet N2000 back in the day, Planet GameCube and, and uh, Nintendo World Report. Um, it's greatly appreciated.